If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. As mentioned in the previous lesson, QuickBooks Online Plus provides basic time tracking for employees if you don't subscribe to either the QuickBooks Payroll and or QuickBooks Time Service. This lesson examines the basic time tracking available in QuickBooks Online Plus, which is still currently in its beta stage as of the time this lesson was created. This means that the available time features will likely change as it develops. To set up basic time tracking in QuickBooks Online, click the Time link in the navigation bar to open the Overview page to the right. Select the desired buttons to indicate why you want to track time and then click the Next button to continue. Continue answering questions until you finish the basic time tracking setup. Alternatively, click Skip to set your own time tracking options in the Account and Settings window if desired. Once you have enabled basic time tracking, you can then add the employees for whom to track time if you haven't already done so. You must add the employees for whom to track time before you create the time tracking entries in QuickBooks Online. To add an employee from the Overview page, Click the Add Employee button in the Shortcuts button group on the page to open a new Employee Information window. Then enter the required employee data and any other optional data you want to record. Since you don't have QuickBooks Payroll enabled, only the employee's first and last names and their display name are required, as noted by the red asterisks next to the fields. If the employee has an hourly billable rate that is independent of the service provided to the customer, then you can enter that rate into the Billing Rate Per Hour field. However, selecting an item from your products and services list when entering their time will override this amount. Additionally, to make their hours billable by default, you can check the Billable by Default checkbox. To save the employee record, Click the Save button in the lower right corner of the Employee Information window. To create a basic time entry for an employee, click the Add Time Entry button on the Overview page to open the Add Time pane at the right side of the window. Alternatively, to open the Time Entries page to add time entries, either click the Time Entries tab at the top of the page or hover over the time link in the navigation bar and then click the time entries choice from the side menu that appears. In the time entries page, then click the add time button in the upper right corner to open the same add time pane at the right side of the window. In the first screen of the add time pane, click to select the name of the employee for whom to enter the time. In the next screen, use the drop down at the top to select for which week to enter time or select the custom choice and then click into a week in the calendar that appears to select it. For the selected week, which then appears below, click the day for which to enter the employee's time. To only enter time for an employee, enter the time duration for the employee on that day into the duration field. Alternatively, to enter Start and End Times, click the Start End Times toggle switch to the left to toggle it to the On position. Then enter or select a Start Time and an End Time by using the Start Time and End Time drop-down fields that then appear to the right to calculate the duration. Alternatively, to enter the time and work details for an employee, instead click the Add Work Details link below this section to show an Add Work Details screen. Here, enter the total duration or the start and end times as previously mentioned at the top of the pane. To assign that time to a customer or project, select the name of the customer or project from the Customer Project drop-down. If assigning time to a project, you will need to select the customer and then the project from the drop-down in separate clicks as the drop-down menu changes based on your clicks, unlike other drop-downs. To select the service performed for that customer by the employee for that time, if you enabled the service field in timesheets within your company file settings, select the service from the service drop-down. 
If needed, to mark the time as billable per hour, click the billable per hour toggle switch to ensure it is in the on position. Optionally, to enter any notes about the time worked, type them into the notes field. To then finish the entry, click the done button at the bottom of the pane. Alternatively, to delete the entry, click the delete button and then click yes in the confirmation prompt window that opens. You then return to the weekly time entry screen. If you need to add more entries for the currently selected day for the employee, click the Add button below the current entry and then repeat the process to record additional time in the new time entry section that appears. To add entries for other days, instead select another day in the week above and then repeat the process. To save the entries you made for the employee, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane. Alternatively, to save the entries and close the pane, click the drop down arrow on the button in the lower right corner of the pane and choose the Save and Close command. Alternatively, to close without saving, Click the Close button in the lower left corner of the pane and then click No in the Save Confirmation prompt that appears. To edit the time entries after making them, if needed, hover over the Time link in the navigation bar and then click the Time Entries command to open the Time Entries tab at the right side of the window. Then click the name of the employee whose time entries you want to edit to show them in this window. To change their billable status here, click the billable toggle. Alternatively, to edit the entire time entry, click the edit link in the action column at the right end of the row to edit, make your changes in the time entry details pane, and then click the save button to save your changes. To delete a time entry, click the Delete button in this pane or select the Delete Action from the Entries Action column drop-down. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation prompt that appears to confirm the deletion. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.